<clears throat> hey Cancer, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is just going to be a general reading for you guys for your next unexpected change. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. Um, I do have personals open right now. I have the email readings for $15 and I have the uh, recorded video readings for $30 if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and get started here. I also have a link down in the uh, comment section for you if you want to check that out. It's uh, for your most recent reading that I've done. So let's go ahead here <clears throat> for Cancer. What are we getting for Cancer? Their next unexpected change. Okay, what is it? The Two of Pentacles. Hmm. So an up and down energy was something that you thought was stable or solidified is how that feels to me. Uh, the lovers is on the bottom. This could involve a Gemini, but you know, for the most part, I'm feeling that this is representing a turning point or an unexpected decision that you're going to have to make. Okay. Some of you could have Jupiter and Capricorn. Um, some of you could just have a lot on your plate here. There's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to handle, but it just seems like there's something that was very, um, that felt very set in stone, I guess, that now doesn't feel that way. So let's go ahead and look at that. What's going on with the two of Pentacles here? For cancer, unexpected change. This could happen during Gemini season, but let's go ahead and look. What was that? King of Pentacles. What else are we getting here? Give me two more on this. Ooh, okay. Or a million. I guess that works. Okay, so we're getting the um, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, the Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius, the Emperor, Aries. The Nine of Swords, Mars and Gemini, and the Hermit, Virgo energy. So this doesn't actually look like anything that is going to affect you in a major way. It just seems like it's something that's like really, really shocking. It's not really something that you expected, um, you know, in a million years. That's how this feels to me with the King of Pentacles. Like I said, it's something that felt very uh, set in stone, something that felt very solid. You have the Emperor here as well. I truthfully feel like this is somebody who's just been very cold and nasty to you, who's caused you a lot of grief. I feel like a shift happening in this person's energy. Give me the King of Pentacles, please. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, how about the Eight of Wands? The Justice card. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, you guys. Give me the Emperor. The Ten of Cups. The Nine of Swords, please. Okay, I'm getting two for the Nine of Swords, so we'll take them. And the Hermit. How about the Hermit? you guys somebody wants a new beginning here okay um i don't know who this is but the emperor it's a masculine energy um we all have masculine and feminine energy so of course this could still be a female but i feel like this is somebody who's been operating out of masculine energy uh for a long time i feel like with the king of pentacles to the emperor it's somebody who is just very they just have a very grumpy personality about them that's the best way i can describe them somebody who is just very cold emotionally um this could be an older male let's go ahead and look at that emperor a little bit more if we can Who's this emperor here? <clears throat> Who's this emperor here to Cancer? For some of you guys, this could be, okay, yeah, the Six of Cups. That is a card of the past, sometimes childhood. It's just a very playful energy here in this card. This could be somebody you have children with, okay? Um, and again, this could be your own father. It just feels like a very masculine energy here. The High Priestess, okay? Hmm. Yeah, I almost feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody who either neglected you or just felt really neglected by you. So I feel like they set boundaries emotionally. The High Priestess, um, I don't necessarily feel that this is like a big secret or anything of that nature. It just seems like um, this person holds back emotionally from you, okay? It's pretty much all I'm seeing there with that. But the Eight of Wands is saying that there's a big shift that's going to take place with this person's energy, okay? Um, I feel like this is somebody for a lot of you that you have children with, okay? Or just, it's somebody you can't get away from for whatever reason here, okay? Physically. Um, but the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this person feels very hurt by you, okay, or very neglected by you. Maybe you decided to leave this person because things weren't changing or you weren't getting what you needed out of the connection. It feels like this is somebody that you were very committed to, okay, Cancer? You have the Nine of Swords here. This is something that caused you a lot of grief, a lot of anxiety uh, when you were committed to it. You have the Eight of Pentacles clarifying it and the King of Cups. So I do feel like with the Page of Wands and the World card, you closed this out. You decided to focus on something else. Yeah, you completely deaded this situation with the Death card there. And I feel like you decided to focus on something else. And this person went into this um, mode of like, I don't want to call it indifference, but there's just this, you're dealing with somebody who thinks it's cool to not care. They feel like that is the proper response. So I'm not sure what that's about, but you're dealing with someone like that. 
they're a king of cups, but they're not a real king of cups. You know what I mean? So this is somebody who seemed very calm, cool, and collected on the surface when you close this out here. But I feel like they were actually fuming on the inside. They were actually really hurt, okay? So that's how that feels to me with the king of... Um, Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. That's why I feel this way because this person wants commitment with you. They want something solid with you. Again, is how this feels. You have the Justice card. They want to make things right with you. This could be a Libra for some. Um, I'm getting strong air energy, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius could even be a Pisces for some of you guys, or any sign for that matter. But you have the Ten of Cups. Okay. Another reason I feel like you guys could have a child with this person. You could have been married to them in the past. All right. Okay, uh, but yeah, I feel like this is somebody who you have a, re a very love-hate relationship with. You have to deal with them a lot physically is how this feels here. And I feel like they're going to try to work something out with you, okay? Um, now, it feels like this could be leading into winter for some of you guys with the hermit being present here. Um, some of you could have some Virgo running through your chart or this person could have some Virgo in their chart. Give me the hermit and the fool. Let's talk about the hermit and the fool. What's going on with that for cancer, please? The hermit and the fool. The reason I say this with the King and Queen of Pentacles, somebody who wants something um, like a commitment or something of that nature with you, I feel this way because the Pentacles are something that is solid. Pentacles aren't always money, but when we talk about money, you know, it's associated heavily with security and stability and comfort. So, yeah, I feel like this person wants to work on things with you. I feel like they want something solid with you, something stable. You don't all have to have children with this person. It's just something that's being highlighted to me. Give me the Hermit and the Fool. This could be someone you have children with in the future if you decide to work this out here. The lovers, the eight of pentacles, the devil, they feel really tied to you, okay, really drawn to you, especially sexually. You have the six of wands, the four of wands on the bottom. They want a happy home. They want to make things right. They want peace within this connection, all right? They're tired of putting on a brave face. They're tired of letting pride hold them back from trying to fix this because it seems like it's something that they messed up, okay? For some of you guys, they're not wanting to come forward or they haven't wanted to come forward because you've been involved with somebody else, okay? So they feel like you're tied up in some way. Maybe they've been tied up in some way, shape, or form, okay? With that hair font that was out here, this could be institution. This could be uh, jail or something of that nature with the justice card being out here. I don't know your life, you guys, but I really feel like this is somebody who felt stuck or they felt like you were stuck in a situation. So that's what that devil part is saying to me. Capricorn energy with the six of wands. Somebody is exposed out in the open, free. Okay, that's how that feels. The full card, free, liberated. All right. And the hermit. I feel like this is that isolated energy. Um, and I feel like that's what's coming to a halt here. There's a turn, there's a turning point with that, and they're wanting to work on something and lay down new roots with you here, Cancer. And again, I feel like this is somebody who's been very, very cold to you, maybe even aggressive towards you. I don't know. Um, of course, I wouldn't advise you to get back with anybody who has been physically or verbally abusive towards you, but it just seems like there's a love-hate relationship that you've had with this individual that seems pretty toxic, but it seems like that's just a brave face that they've been trying to put on um, because you ended a connection here that just wasn't working out for you. It just wasn't serving you energetically, but I feel like they're ready to fix things here And I feel like it's going to take a lot of courage for them to come forward, but they are going to do that. Okay uh, So yeah, whether this is a turning point in the connection or just a turning point for this person This is actually really really good. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this isn't something that you're going to see coming at all from this individual um, But yeah, it's coming. All right So if you guys want something more tailored to your energy, I do have personals open You can also watch out for your other signs and um, I will have a link in the comment section uh, for your most recent reading from me but if this is where we part cancer i want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you all enjoy your week bye